Emily, your rookie season's in the books. What will you remember from this first year? Whew, um, you know, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna remember mainly um, all of the relationships that I build with everybody in this organization. And I think a big thing that most of us will remember as rookies is, you know, meeting all of these players that we've watched growing up and getting to compete against them. You know, the Candace Parkers of the world, Sue Birds. Being a part of Sue Bird and Sylvia Fowles' retirement year, you know, it's just been a really awesome experience. How do you feel like you grew the most over the course of your rookie year? I think I grew in a way, as corny as it might sound, like my comfortability of this organization and the, progr um, the program and just the league in general, to where when I come back, uh, there's certain things I won't have to get used to now. So I think I'll flourish more with um, being comfortable with what I, where I'm at and what I'm doing. And I, you know, sometimes it takes a whole season, but I'm, I'm grateful that I had court experience and I can come back next year better. Such a unique situation this year with so many rookies on this roster. How did you guys all kind of come together and, and grow as a unit? It took some time. I mean, I think off the court stuff helped and then on the court, you know, it just took us getting the mixture of playing with each other. Uh, I do think we came together and um, stuck out this year really strong and did everything that we possibly could have for this team and for this organization. And um, I'm really excited to see them all again next year and see what we can do. How do you feel like your style of play impacts your teammates? I think the versatile aspect of my game has been helpful, you know, defensively and even um, offensively. Uh, you know, I think the most impact is just the little things, being able to get a good offensive rebound and kick it back out to a good scorer or even just running the floor and getting a stop on defense, a block or et cetera, things like that. But that versatility, I always try to you know, keep it in my game. I think it's what allows me to be at this level. Did you have a welcome to the WNBA moment? Probably more than once. I did get my shot swatted at um. Where were we? Uh, what gym was that? I'll never forget. I think it was Chicago. It was, that was definitely a welcome to the league moment. Um, but no, just uh, even, I think a welcome to the league moment is uh, like, for example, you know, um, going on the court with like Tina Charles and her just hugging me, saying what's up and all that kind of stuff. It's like, I grew up watching her play in the garden. <laughs> so that was an awesome experience. And, you know, I'm grateful that we have vets in the league like that who show us you know their kind of respect and that welcome so much young talent on this roster how excited should fever fans be for the future of this franchise very excited i tell them i try to tell them all the time stick with us you know give us some time um we're super talented really like our individual skill sets are are going to really flourish next year i'm super excited about it what are your goals for this off season <sighs> i mean i guess i could say just to get better but um like individual things, you know, just focusing on skill sets that I might not have that I can work better with next year, filling out different positions. Um, just getting to know myself better overseas is something that I'm excited to do. It's going to be your first time playing overseas. Are you looking forward to that experience? Yes, I think um, for a while I was really nervous, but these last two weeks I've reflected back on everything and I've had really, really serious conversations with a numerous amount of people in my life and I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited to go and you know be a part of this little town that I'm going to and um, I've really never been overseas much like I don't have any experience over there so this would be cool and uh, just to see other countries while I'm there and stuff like that. Do you have a favorite moment from last season? I do think winning when we were back in New York was a pretty cool moment for me being from New York City and getting that win in front of all my family and friends.